I should talk to her. I should talk to hide them about my next targets. Jorvik is now free of the Order's influence. Brilliant as ever, my friend. Thank you for all you have done. Ah, here is something for you. An odd letter arrived a few days ago, signed by one calling himself... A poor fellow soldier of Christ. That's right. Someone you know. Not by sight. But this soldier has intimate knowledge of the Order. He's the reason I have found them so easily in the cities. The letter says you must travel to Winchester, visit God's house and look for a man in white. Then recite this passage. When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly cometh wisdom. All right. I'll speak with Ranvi. Get a fuller picture of all this. Do you need something? I have to go. Then go in peace. I want to see the Alliance map. Python received a message from Winchester, from someone calling himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ. Your hidden ally. Very interesting. More targets, I assume. Yes. So what do you think? Could it be a trap? As a West Saxon stronghold, Winchester will be a rather unwelcome place for you. But that is nothing you cannot handle. If you go, do not go boldly. I'll make my way to Winchester. The letter asked me to meet a man in white at a house of God. And then recite this phrase. When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly cometh wisdom. A passage from their holy book, I believe. Interesting. Go with care. of King Alfred's power, where hawk shit stains my boots. Go, my eyes. I will find the man in white in their god's house. be the house of their timid god. They built him a rich dwelling.
Obsessus cum profeta Mosi imprecari mala magna in the mighty fall. And God's servant, the Bishop Aylesworth, was mighty indeed. A Dane treads the cobbles of God's house. In search of Christ's redemption, I hope. Your Christ can wait his turn. It's you I've come to see. Is that so? When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly cometh wisdom. You know these words, and you know why I speak them. I do. But I am not yet satisfied that you are the one for the task ahead. As Jesus said unto Thomas, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Speak the deeds of Christ in order. Only then will you cometh unto my Lord. If I must dance to your tune, tell me where to step. In books one may find such wisdom. We had many in England before the Danes burned our churches. A few yet remain nearby. Or perhaps a more pious soul in need of charity will reward you with a lesson. I have nothing for you now, but I will return. He bathed in the river, so a gentle wash brings them closer to their god. He rose from the dead. A nice trick, and not easily done. Their god brings them light. Just as Baldur does, light as bright as the summer sun. Speak the deeds of Christ in order. God breathed on the water, and in the Jordan River he was cleansed of all sin. His baptism. On the mountain, his face shone like the sun, and he became light. His transfiguration. The women came with offerings, but they could not find him when they looked among the dead. His resurrection. And Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness. Well spoken. Are the riddles done? That is not for me to decide, for I am not the one who summoned you. If you follow... I will lead you to him. I solved your riddle, and all I get is silence. Who am I to meet? Shh. Even a fool, when he keeps silent, is considered wise. Yet men become wise by speaking with other men. They grow foolish when keeping to silence. Hush. Your prattling offends God's ears. We're here. May Christ, whose terror scares away the foul thrones, make with me a strong covenant. Was God's lesson instructive? I learned that my gods and yours inspire tales of equal amusement. They make me howl with laughter. A dull answer, but a battle-blunted axe may yet be sharpened. Do all the priests in Winchester have this same skill for drama? You risk your life, Alfred King. I have invited you here to speak on equal terms. Do the Dane laws of hospitality not apply in Wessex? You gifted my Jarl to that well from the Order of Ancients, the warrior Fulke. Fulke was an enemy of Wessex. But it seems someone has already removed her threat from my lands. If you did not hear it was me, you have now. Impressive. The Order of Ancients has surely been crippled by her loss. 
How much do you know of this order? Only this and little more. This letter, signed by one who calls himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ, warns of a plot against my life. The gallows, the quill, the Sikhs, free men eager to kill you. Two now. The Bishop Aelferth is dead. He was the Sikhs, so far as I can tell. And a humble servant of your god. That must sting. Still, his death has strengthened Christian fellowship in Winchester. I pray the deaths of his colleagues will do the same. You have faced warriors like me many times before, and many times you have lost or been cheated. Why trust me now? I have men in London and Jorvik. Men who send me reports on the rise and fall of the tides of war. Not long ago, men and women of some influence were murdered in those places. In oddly specific circumstances. When I received this letter from our poor fellow soldier, it did not take long to work out why. I don't know your motive, nor what you hope to gain. All I ask is that you finish the work you have begun, before these fallen souls infest England further. I should let the Order kill you. It would speed our conquest of England. You may remove the organs of state. The cancer will remain. Then promise me a reward I can sing about. A healthy king's weight in silver. Very well. As much as you can carry. This morning, my reeve, Goodwin, was not at his post. A man you trust? Goodwin was following the clues given in this letter when he disappeared. Where was he last seen? At his house, by the West Gate. You may find something there. Eivor, compose yourself while you are my guest. My city is not a battlefield. Not yet, Great King, but the day will come.
Paradiso. Pax Eterna es una vía. Survey the area, Sunan. Guards sniffing around. So where would they have taken him? Papers thrown on the fire. Goodwin covering his tracks, or the guards destroying evidence. Broken balls, food scattered. They took him by force. There must be a garrison in the city. A violent struggle with the guards. They must have taken him to Winchester's garrison. Aid me. Be my eyes.
Thick walls and thicker guards. A place to keep a valuable man.
Reeve Selwyn ordered executions for petty theft and mudslinging. A husband and wife to be carried out soon. Winchester. These are strange times. King Alfred sent me, pleading from his bended knee to find someone. I know Alfred well enough to spot a bloody lie when I hear it. If he did send you, he was standing tall and proud. That he was, and you are the man I've come to find, Goodwin. Do you know why? If I had one guess, to find these heretics from the Order of Ancients, and bury them so deep, even God would need a shovel. So where do we start digging? My research should help us. If they haven't burned it already, it'll be somewhere nearby. I will find your research. Now go before they find their wolf has fled his cage. Let's regroup beyond the walls! to get on the other side. Goodwin's research against the Order of Ancients. Western warns a good wisher and a strong, virile. I am grateful for your help. It's a brazen move to arrest Alfred's favored Reeve. This so called order are nothing but deviled shit peddlers. Shit peddlers who have wormed their way into every crevasse of your country. They're dangerous. I didn't catch your name, did I? Eivor of the Raven Clan. Scourge of Mercia, if that name doesn't rattle some recognition. 
Well, Eivor, when our three heretics smolder on a heap of ash, we'll down a cup of ale together and share our distaste of Mercians like old friends. Alfred believes at least one is dead. Your bishop, Aelferth, was the Sikhs. Bugger. Half of Winchester is in mourning for that nun groper. One calls himself the Quill. Are words his weapons? There were rumors of letters nailed up around Winchester. It may be that one of these can tell us more. The Gallows? What do you know of him? Must be another Reeve, I'm sure of it. Only we have the power to mete out justice. And this one would walk with cocksure righteousness. The Gallows had you arrested, so he must command the law. Reeve Selwyn? Of course. That hedge pig has brought down laws like a hammer on Winchester, executing sinners on spurious charges in the square. Could it be another? He's the man. He's the only one who fits. End his terror, Eivor. Winchester, open your eyes. See how Alfred's lofty ideals are weighed down in this mire of human effluence. These prisoners before you do not live by Alfred's laws. They live above them. They wallow in shit, only guided by their own perversity. Hubert here, his wits addled by ale, spoke false of Bishop Aylfer. Our pious servant of Winchester, who even now lies cold in his grave shroud. Aelfoth was no man of God. He'll burn for his sins. <laughs> Your wife is obeying shrew, Hubert. Is there a man here who has not supped rancid mead from her cup? When will your work be done, Selwyn? When all of Winchester falls to your justice? Winchester has passed judgment, Hubert. May God have mercy on your cankerous soul. of justice. Who dares execute the king's noose? 
It is not in Alfred's name that you carry out your work. You are the Order's executioner. <laughs> you peer through the veil, but you do not see clearly. Alfred's laws are a slave's fever dream. He offers shit-soaked beggars a seat at his table, where the meek devour the strong. Who best to judge the fate of the wretched many, if not the strong and worthy few? To protect your people, you must sheathe your hand in an iron glove. You grind your heels into the backs of freed men, not those who deserve it. The Order condemns all men to pain. For all men are but a shadow of the perfection we should know. The perfection of the Ancient Ones. You are only a man, Reeve. One dead branch on a fast-dying tree. <laughs> Goodwin, see what he has found on the quill. <gasps> Show me. Do you see sooner? A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Does Magister Batter not teach you the scriptures? Magister batter as a horse's dangles. And here is the axe I used to swat a fly. You have ventured from your burrow. And you have plunged my city into chaos. I had hoped you would use the lessons of your subtler gods. We have no subtle gods. If the gallows is truly dead, perhaps we can allow cautious revelry? I did only what I agreed to, Alfred. If your crown now weighs heavy, I would gladly take it from you. <sighs> Forgive my outburst. God sowed in me a passion, but English prose is an instrument long out of tune. We all want better for our people, don't we, Avery? Yours and ours. 
The quill remains. What do we know? The decay of learning has been gentle in Wessex. We enjoy the office of wise men, but we have neglected the study of wisdom. The quill preys on this lapse. Someone disagrees with your reforms, Alfred, and he's calling the children to arms. Now we know why so many children scurry through the streets, feral and untutored. I can talk to some, see where they lead me. Good. Find me at the alehouse when you're done. And try not to scare the piss from any of them. We Norse are the monsters of your sex and mother's bedtime tales. I promise nothing. I see you, child. Come. The bad Reeve, Selwyn. I saw you punish him in the square. He hurt many people. Yes. He hurt my mother to death. Then took her good luck charm. Perhaps you found it? A little carved tree. It is all I have to remember her by. Such a sad story. Take this. Perhaps it'll keep you off the streets and out of trouble. For me? Oh, thank you. Spry little mouse. Will you lead me to your quill? Heaven will swallow the smoke of Aelfa's fire. Very poetic. But he is going to be buried in the grounds of the Minster. Ah, now we can always pay our respects. If you say so. There, little cut purse. Keep your feet out, nosy. I'm starving. God's beard. You set Winchester ablaze. Roly poly mutton man. You can't catch me. Oh, God help me. I'd rather be shoveling dung in Malvern again. Be my eyes, Sunan. Is it? You wield fire like the flaming Jotnar. It, it was burning when I found it. Hot days like this, things just go whoosh. Well? Oi! Wigbert! You great moon calf! Hand it over, Alwyn. We saw your little shadow take it. What are you looking at? I'm not sure. Looks like an old lady's been rolling in shit with all the other ugly sows. Uh, hawking a dress, maybe?
showed them. Trouble seems to follow you. And I wriggle out of it like a slippery eel. Why are you following me? I'm looking for the quill. So I'm asking you, this little worker beast. Us? Working for the quill? Shows what you know. Is that so? I am innocent as a lamb. They were the quill's thugs and you killed them. Wouldn't want to be in your boots. It sounds like you owe me your life. This one's brave and strong. Might be able to help us. So you're not working for the quill? We steal to stay alive and out of the quill's clutches. But you know where I can find him. They come up from the sewers like rats. Go on, give her what you took. Maybe she can save us. Good luck, Dane. Try not to get maimed and all that.